outside uh, St George's that. Chapel. I love children's questions. I know, I know. It's brilliant. brilliant. It's a good job she didn't actually ask the Queen herself. Can you imagine if she'd done that? <laughs> uh, some fabulous outfits on show yesterday. But as for the bride's choice of wedding dress, there was a poignant message behind it. Uh, and it's uh, in some of the papers there. You can see that she deliberately chose a dress to show a scar that runs along her spine there, uh, which goes back to some surgery that Princess Eugenie had when she was just 12 years old. Yes, it was to treat a curvature of the spine. Uh, the princess said she hoped it would act as a tribute to those who've helped her and inspire others with the condition of scoliosis, like Laura Campbell, who actually joins us on the sofa now. Morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, it's a really, it's a really brave thing to do in some ways. And um, what did you think when you saw her with that dress, and also purposefully done like that way? Yeah. So I think it was a really positive, um, inspirational thing for her to have done yesterday. Um, I think me and my mum watched it together. We got quite emotional, obviously, because I have had the same operation. Um, but she's just, I think she was a good role model for anybody sat at home who's perhaps worried about how their scar looks or perhaps worried about their curvature. Um, to see a princess on her wedding day showing off her scar to the world is just fantastic. It's, it's brilliant. It clearly meant a lot to you, that moment. Yes, yeah, I think so. I think it's just, I think it's a condition that can make you feel quite self-conscious. It can make you feel isolated. Um, and it's something that people don't necessarily, they haven't heard about it. So um, to see somebody like, like Eugenie, in the, in the spotlight, showing off, off, it, off her scar to the world is just fantastic. Um, so tell us a little bit about um, scoliosis. So you've, had, you've got it yourself, yes. so tell us a little yeah. bit about it. Um, so I was diagnosed with scoliosis when I was 13. Um, so I had an uneven waist. Um, my hips were one hold higher than the other and so were my shoulders, mm -hmm. um, which is a classic sign of, of the condition. And this is your scan, isn't it? Yes, yes, that's me. <laughs> um, so I, I, I developed it at 13 and um, they monitored it for a few years, um, but fortunately it got worse, so I needed and the this operation. Is this, is this the result of the surgery? It is, yes. Gosh. <laughs> Gosh. So, and, and what? Those are the screws. Those are two of the screws that I had in my pelvis. And so how long did that last for? So my first, I've actually had five operations. Um, my first operation um, lasted for 10 hours. Um, so I had an incision up my, on my side, which I now call my shark bite. <laughs> um, and um, they took out a rib, deflated my lung to get to, the, get to the spine, and then they straightened it with the metal rods and screws. I mean, what's staggering about this is the extraordinary um, things that, you know, medic mm. that doctors can do now. Yes, yes, it is amazing. Um, I think it's... It's amazing that it's such a big surgery. Um, you wake up in high dependency units, um, but then you're in hospital for a week, and then you're home, and you're walking, and, and, and you, you, you know you, you're getting back to normal quite quickly. Considering the amount of work you've had done, it, it's quite incredible that, that you can get back on your feet. And I grew two inches as well, which was fantastic because they straighten you out. And, and what <laughs> happens long term? Because we, we can you, there's a degenerative form of, of scoliosis, mm. isn't there? That people as, can get as they get older and, yeah. and get a you know a, a twisted spine. Then, um, for you now having had the operation, yeah. uh, uh, you, you're, you're not going to get that. It's not going to de degenerate. Is that right? Well, my, so my spine is fused solid, so um, with all the me that metal work, mm. so hopefully um, I'll avoid more surgery. But it's it's a condition that you never know. Um, um, I think it's um, I think I'm I'm straighter and I'm stronger for it, and I'm glad I've had it. Uh, it's made me who I am. So um, you and you knew that um, Princess Eugenie had had this um, before, didn't you? Yes. Um, it, it, is it something? It's obviously something that she cares deeply about yeah. that people should. You know, be grateful for. She she was talking to her surgeon, I think, as well. Right. She cares deeply about this, doesn't she? Yeah. And it's fantastic to have her as a role model and someone speaking out about it because I think it's a condition that not many people know about. Um, so to have somebody um, as a role model is, is just is just brilliant. Mm. Um, and yet it's not that uncommon, is it? it, it no. It's strange that it's it, it can be reasonably common and yet we don't talk about it or know much about it. Why, yeah. why is that? I'm not sure and I think it's, it's necessary to talk about it. I think part of um, dealing with the condition, especially because it's um, diagnosed often in adolescence, um, talking to other people who've had it. When I've met other people who've had scoliosis, it's been a way to help me to cope with what I've been through. Mm. And I imagine it's the kind of thing, if you get a diagnosis, it could be quite scary at the beginning. So what would your advice be to people? Um, so the Scoliosis Association UK is the only national charity that helps um, to support people with scoliosis. Um, I'd advise them to um, 
people to look on their website for more information. They've got a helpline as well. Um, any worries and concerns, talk them over with your GP and um, contact with people like me, Midlands uh, representatives for SA UK, um, and we can help to put so you. So you're in helping touch people with... going through this now. Yes, are you? yes, that's how. Well, I see, the scars are who you are in some yes, ways, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, that's how I've tried to cope with it to try and channel it into something positive. And I've met so many brilliant, brave, inspirational youngsters with it. It's been a fantastic journey. As are you two. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. It's just after quarter past nine. We've